trees lift high your heads, grow higher with ancient doors. Let him enter the King of Glory. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with, and with you. your spirit. Let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God, God, God and to you, and to you my, my brothers, brothers and sisters, sisters that, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my, my most grievous fault. fault. Therefore I ask this Blessed Mary, of virgin, virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, you my brothers and sisters, to pray, pray for me to Lord the Lord our God. God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who seeing the human race fallen into death, willed to redeem it by the coming of your only begotten Son, grant, we pray, that those who confess his incarnation with humble fervour may merit his company as their Redeemer, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first book of Samuel. When Hannah had weaned Samuel, she took him up with her together with a three-year-old bull, an ephah of flour, and a skin of wine. And she brought him to the temple of the Lord at Shiloh, and the child was with them. They slaughtered the bull, and the child's mother came to Eli. She said, If you please, my Lord, as you live, my Lord, I am the woman who stood here beside you, praying to the Lord. This is the child I prayed for, and the Lord granted me what I asked him. Now I make him over to the Lord for the whole of his life. He is made over to the Lord. There she left him for the Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The response of Psalm is, My heart exalts in the Lord my Saviour. My heart exalts in the Lord my Saviour. My heart exalts in the Lord. I find my strength in my God. My mouth laughs at my enemies as I rejoice in your saving help. My heart heart exalts exalts in the Lord my Saviour. The bows of the mighty are broken, but the weak are clothed with strength. Those with plenty must labour for bread, but the hungry need work no more. The childless wife has children now, but the fruitful wife bears no more. My heart heart exalts in the the Lord my my Saviour. It is the Lord who gives life and death. He brings men to the grave and back. It is the Lord who gives poverty and riches. He brings men low and raises them on high. My heart exalts in the Lord Lord, my Saviour. He lifts up the lowly from the dust, from the dung heap he raises the poor, to set him in the company of princes, to give him a glorious throne. For the pillars of the earth are the Lord's, on them he has set the word. My heart heart exalts in the the Lord Lord, my my Saviour. Please stand to read the Gospel. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. King of the peoples and cornerstone of the church, come and save man whom you made from the dust of the earth. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to 
Lord. Glory to your Lord. Mary said, My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord, and my spirit exalts in God my Saviour, because he has looked upon his lowly handmaid. Yes, from this day forward, all generations will call me blessed. For the Almighty has done great things for me. Holy is his name, and his mercy reaches from age to the age for those who fear him. He has shown the power of his arm. He has routed the proud of heart. He has pulled down princes from their thrones and exalted the lonely. The hungry he has filled with good things. The rich sent empty away. He has come to the help of Israel, his servant, mindful of his mercy, according to the promise he made to our ancestors of his mercy to Abraham and to his descendants forever. Mary stayed with Elizabeth about three months and then went back home. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The response to the prayers of intercession this morning is, Lord Jesus, come to us in love. Lord Jesus, come to us in love. In a world divided by fear and greed, the Church calls again on her Saviour. Lord Jesus, come to us in love. Help us to set our hearts where they will find fulfilment and not betrayal. Lord Jesus, come to us in love. As we proclaim your saving power to others, let us not ourselves lose hold of your salvation. Lord Jesus, come to us in love. May our world be flooded with the grace of your coming. Let us experience the fullness of your joy. Lord Jesus, come to us in love. May we live our lives to the full in this world and transfigure it with the hope of future glory. Lord Jesus, come to us in love. We pray for the sick. We pray for all who are poorly in mind body or soul. For all the many people we know who are receiving treatment of one kind or another. And we pray through the intercession of Our Lady of Lourdes and Saint Bernadette that they may be strengthened and sustained, particularly in their time of greatest need. Lord Jesus, come to us in love. We pray also in a special way for all the many families in our parish who are mourning the loss of a family member, praying that God will bring them his consolation. Lord Jesus, come to us in love. We pray also for all who are suffering the consequences of the current coronavirus pandemic, that God the Father may grant health to the sick, strength to those who care for them, comfort to families, and salvation to all the many victims throughout the world. Who have died. Lord Jesus, come to us in love. And lastly, we pray for the dead. We remember in a special way this morning John Lappin, Sister Pascal McGibbon, and Eileen Conlon, all of whose anniversaries occur today. We continue to keep in our prayers those who have died of recent weeks, remembering especially Robert Hagen. Kathleen Keever, Philip Kelly, and Jerry Johnson. And our prayers are also requested this morning for the happy repose of the soul of Veronica Gilpin, late of Dorchester Park, who died yesterday, and a private committal will take place with a memorial mass taking place at a later date, with uh, Veronica's funeral being strictly private on account of the ongoing pandemic. We pray God may grant these deceased and all our own deceased loved ones a merciful judgment and an eternal repose.
And Lord Jesus, come to us in love. Let us pray, God our Father. You looked in pity on fallen man and redeemed us by the coming of your Son. Grant that we who profess our firm and humble faith in the incarnation of our Redeemer may have some share in his divine life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual fruit. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. And may the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good, for the good of all his holy church. Trusting in your compassion, O Lord, we come eagerly with our offerings to your sacred altar, that through the purifying action of your grace we may be cleansed by the very mysteries we serve through Christ. Amen. The Lord be with Lift you. Your Lift up your heart. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For all the oracles of the prophets foretold him, the Virgin Mother longed for him with love beyond all telling, John the Baptist signed his coming, and proclaimed his presence when he came. It is by his gift that already we rejoice at the mystery of his nativity, so that he may find us watchful in prayer and exultant in his praise. And so with the angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as with thy name we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God of hosts, heaven, heaven and earth, earth and with your glory, glory O Son of the Highest, blessed, blessed is he, come the name of the Lord, the Lord O Son of the Highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created is right to give you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and works of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather and keep it to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, 
he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of peace. We, we proclaim your death, O Lord, Lord and profess your, your resurrection until, until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you willed to reconcile us to yourself, Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son, and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. Patrick, St. Bridget, St. Malachy, St. Columba, St. Eulen, St. Manina, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely upon filling hell. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confer in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis our Pope, Eamon our Bishop Michael his assistant bishop, Sean our retired bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we go to the day. Our, Our Father, Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. 
as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour Jesus Christ. The kingdom, the power, the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you all. And with your spirit. May this mingling of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring eternal life to us who receive it. Lamb of God, God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world, blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I Lord, am not worthy that you should enter under my, my roof, but only so that the word of my shall be healed.
My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord, for the Almighty has done great things for me. O Sacrament, most holy, O Sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be a beam of thine. O Sacrament, most holy, O Sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be a beam of thine. O Sacrament, most holy, O Sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thy. O sacred heart of Jesus, I place all my trust in you. Immaculate heart of Mary, pray for us. O angel of God, my guardian dear, to whom God's love is near, ever this day be on my side, to light to guard, to rule and guide. Amen. Eternal rest run on to them, O Lord. And the perpetual light shine upon them. May they rest in peace. Amen. May their souls and the souls of all the faithful depart through the mercy, mercy of God, God rest, rest in peace. peace. Amen. Let us pray. May reception of your sacrament strengthen us, O Lord, so that we may go out to meet our Saviour with worthy deeds when he comes and merit the rewards of the blessed. Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with, with you. your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God.